Hello everyone, welcome to the eighth episode of Veterans Talk. Once again, thank Francis Marin very much for putting these shows on for us, for getting the word out for the veterans. And I don't want to leave out my daughter who helped me put a lot of this stuff together too on the websites and all. I know I leave her out a little bit and I need to make sure I mention her. Um, before we get started today, I got a very special guest with us here from the VFW. But before then, one of the things that we've got coming up next month in April is we've got a fundraiser at the VFW. We'll get into that a little bit more here in a minute. Um, we also have the Senior Expo coming up next month, and the, all the veteran organizations, at least a lot of them, will be out there. And that's um, next, I think it's the 12th and the 13th. That's right. The 12th and the 13th of April. And then we also have the Veterans Tribute, Memorial Tribute at the National Cemetery. What that, and that's going to be put on by the Honor Guard. Yes, it is. And you might can talk a little bit about that in a minute, too. And we also have the Rally for Veterans at the Capitol on the 24th of April. And that's going to be at the Capitol, and that's basically showing the people up there in, in Columbia that uh, we support the veterans and all in the area. And the last thing I want to put out is on the last Friday in April, um, the, one of the Eagle Scouts has got a project out there where he's going to be doing a, a flag ceremony for, um, what is it called when you do the flag, you putting them away. Um, uh, you retire the retired, colors? Retiring the colors, yes. Yeah. They're going to do a retiring the color ceremony at the um, Veterans Park on the last Friday of the month in April. And now let's let me introduce you here to Jack McGurn. He's the commander at the VFW here, and he's also a member of the Color Guard or the Honor Guard. I'm sorry. Yes. And very good fellow. Yes. Jack, what what's some of the um, activities that y'all have going on at the VFW? We talked about a few of them here already. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, we uh, uh, we have various you know, uh, veterans organizations that, that meet. Mm -hmm. at our facility. Right. We have uh, one of the better facilities in, in, uh, in the area. Mm -hmm. And the uh, uh, you know, Marine, Marine Corps League uh, uh, had been meeting there. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if they, uh, they've moved up. Uh, the Honor Guard meets the there, The Honor Guard meets there. Uh, we also uh, host meetings from uh, local groups like the uh, disabled and the, uh, uh, we have a, a coin club that, that meets there. Okay. And uh, we, you just provide the facility for them without, without cost. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, um, you also have some really good dining there. Oh, we have yeah. great dining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It, I have had nothing but, but uh, compliments on the, uh, oh, yes. the food yeah. and service there. And uh, you know, I, th I think we're one of the oldest uh, restaurants in, yeah. in Florence. Yeah, I seen that. I, I was looking at a thing on Facebook the other day, and people were asking what's the oldest restaurant in Florence. And I do believe it's the VFW because I think it's in 1934, 36, somewhere yeah. around in there. It was the first established, and it's been there ever since. You know? yeah. yeah. I yeah. think it burnt down one time, but they put it right back in the same spot. Right. Yeah. And we. Uh, you know, we still serve, serve the same good food. Oh yes, that's yeah. ste steaks, steaks to kill for there. That's oh, yeah. real good. Right. Yeah. And you have a dance on. Do you just have it on Sundays or you have it on Saturdays well, too? We or? have uh, we have it every Sunday night. Every Sunday night. We, we've started to have it on uh, uh, one Saturday a, a month, mm -hmm. the second Saturday of the month, and uh, it's been the turnout's been pretty good for that. So you have it on Sunday, every Sunday, every Sunday. and the second Saturday of every month. That's true. Right now, um. It, uh, don't you you have like whenever you come in you can get a ticket for like a dinner and a dance correct? That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and, and what do you have? Local bands in there or? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, like uh, last uh, Sunday we had uh, uh, Mika. Mika. Yeah. Monty and Mika is Monty still playing or is just oh, Mika? Oh, Monty's been sick. Monty's been sick. But, uh, yeah. And it's, I know the other week you had Gene Ray in there. He was yeah, playing. Gene Ray. Yeah. And uh, Easy Money. Easy Money. Yeah. Yeah, some pretty good local bands there. Yeah. All right. Um, how about uh, what one of the things that we were talking about? Ain't you got a you got a fundraiser? What is it? A chicken bog or a barbecue? From a the, barbecue uh, from the schoolhouse. It's made from the schoolhouse. And, yeah. And, and that's going to be the eleventh uh, of uh, next month. Uh huh. And uh, we're you know selling tickets now. Okay. And they can contact you at the VFW. Yeah. Yeah. 
and for any information on how to contact someone at any of these different organizations, you can, e you can go to my the website, www.florencecountyveteranaffairs.com, and all the different organizations are listed there, and you can get a hold of the VFW about if you want to you go to the fundraiser, or you, do you have a contact? What's the number to the VFW there that you can? 665. Mm -hmm. you know, 5077. 665 5077. Okay. And um, don't, who do you, do you know who's going to be doing it, the, 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 dan um, the dance next month? Do you know who you got next coming up for the, the playing? Uh, let's see. We have uh, uh, Easy Money's going to be the first week. And, uh, uh, Second week is going to be uh, uh, Larry uh, Flowers oh, okay. uh, on Sunday, and Saturday will be Gene Ray. Gene Ray will be on Saturday. Yeah, okay. on the second week. The second weekend, mm -hmm. and uh, the third weekend will be Mika again. Mm -hmm. Mika, okay. okay. And I don't know after right. that. After that, yeah. yeah. Um, the talk, talk a little bit here about change the subject a minute about the Veterans Honor Guard with this ceremony that we got coming up at the National Cemetery. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Uh, well, uh, there have been a number of, uh, of uh, veterans that have been buried out there and have not had, you know, an Honor Guard uh, um, tribute. Mm -hmm. And so the uh, uh, director out at the National Cemetery uh, has made a list of these, mm -hmm. and we're going to uh, go out there and, and uh, uh, honor them okay. uh, one by one by name and make sure that every veteran gets the, uh, the honor they're entitled to. That's good. That's really good. That's something that's good. And I think she said she's going to do that every year, maybe once yeah, a every year, year, twice she's a year. Do that, yeah. yeah, once a year. Just to catch the ones they missed. Right. There you go. There you go. All right. Um, what was the other thing that we were talking about? Oh, the um, Senior Expo. Are y'all going to be at the Senior Expo? Yes. Yes. Okay. We'll, we'll be there. Okay. And you know, people can, you know, fill out membership cards and join up with us. Okay. How about the, um, what is, it, what, speaking of that, what do you have to do to be a member of the VFW? Okay. I know the VFW is one of the organizations that everybody's not entitled to be a member of. Right. Well, uh, well you can read here, it. Here, let me. Uh, you need these? Yeah, I need those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most of us my age do. Yeah. <laughs> those serving honorably in the U.S. Army forces in a foreign war or overseas operation recognized by a campaign medal in Korea after June 30, 1949, and recipients of hostile fire or imminent danger pay, veterans of World War II, the Korean, Vietnam, Persian Gulf, and Iraqi wars, Grenada, Panama, Lebanon, Afghanistan, and other small expeditionary campaigns, as well as occupation duty, qualify. Oh, correct. Yeah. So, well, yeah, that's how I got to be a member. You, you want to keep the glasses? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'd love to. There you go. But that's a, I was in um, Lebanon myself, and that's how I got to be a member. But you have to be a member. You, ha you bring your 214, mm -hmm. and you have to have a conflict, a foreign war conflict, basically. That's, cr that's correct, yes. yes. Um, do y'all have any, um, you, ha you also have an auxiliary group there, correct? Uh, well, we had one, but we haven't reestablished it. They, they broke it up uh, two years ago. Uh -huh. uh, but we have an auxiliary ladies group. Ladies auxiliary. Ladies auxiliary, yeah. and uh, you know, they, they uh, do a fine job, oh, yeah. you know, decorating out there and mm -hmm. baking cakes and <laughs> good oh, stuff. Oh, yes, <laughs> definitely, definitely. You have one of the better ladies auxiliary groups around. You oh, got I some real so. strong women out there working out there. The um, now the dining. If somebody wanted to go out there to eat, did, what time does that open? Uh, uh, we open for food at five, uh -huh. and uh, we'll be open till ten thirty or, or eleven. It uh, depends on the crowd. Depends on the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. And and you said you also have some other um, organizations that meet out there. Didn't you say the Coin Club meets out there? Coin Club. What nights do they meet out there? Uh, they meet on Thursday nights. On Thursday nights. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And they, they, I guess that if you wanted to be a, go somewhere and have your coins looked at by somebody, that would be a good time to oh, do sure. it. Oh, sure. That there on a Thursday night. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, what was it? Um, I'm drawing a blank here, but I, I always do that. The, 
the ladies auxiliary, they also do the buddy poppies and what else? Yeah, they help us with the buddy poppies, yes. The buddy poppies. Yeah. And, and and we've had one buddy puppy, uh, uh, you know, you know, day. Day. And uh, we're going to have another one in the spring when it gets a little warmer. Mm -hmm. Tough standing out there. In the <laughs> and if anybody winter. wants to know what a buddy poppy is, that's the little... It's a little flower that mm -hmm. uh, uh, it, it's in Poppy's Field uh, right. that, that designates the, uh, uh, the fallen veterans. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, donations are, are you know, asked for yeah. and uh, uh, whatever they, they want to you know, give you for, the <coughs> for those. And uh, you know, we just you know, hand them out and, and uh, uh, the donations go to help our, our veterans. <clears throat> That's really good. Now, um, it, isn't there another ceremony that you're involved in at the National Cemetery as far as the VFW every year? Um, well, we go out there, <coughs> we go out there and uh, we're involved in the Veterans Day and Memorial Day. Memorial Day, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and, and so the VFW is the one that runs the Memorial Day at the National Cemetery, I believe, correct? We have been, yeah. yes. Yes, okay. And, and, and that's every Memorial Day, obviously. Yes. Yeah. Um, do you um, do y'all have any other activities that you might get into out in town as far as helping with the veterans and stuff? That oh yeah, uh, you know we uh, we you know give assistance to uh, the homeless and, and needy veterans. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, run the uh, uh, for the uh, schools, the local high schools. We have the uh, Patriots Pen mm -hmm. and the uh, Voice for Democracy. Right. And uh, uh, we have, uh, we're, you know, a member, obviously, of the, the, the Veterans Veteran Council. Council. And uh, we have, you know, four or five of our members are, uh, are members of the, uh, also members of the Honor Guard. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, uh, we also, uh, you know, uh, help out with the Boy Scouts and, and so forth. Uh, uh, we had the Boy Scouts out there just uh, last month. Uh, we were burning the, the wreaths that had been placed at the National Cemetery mm -hmm. uh, back in December. All right. And uh, we uh, you know, put them all in a big pile and burnt them up. And we also had a flag burning the same day, okay. a flag retirement, I yeah. should say. Yes. And uh, yeah, so the Boy Scouts were out there uh, in, in force for that, mm -hmm. gathering up the, the wreaths and so forth. And uh, so, you know, we, we, uh, we try to help out, uh, uh, you know, anything that has anything to do with patriotism or veterans, we're, That's right. we're into it. That's right. And don't you also, you're, you're very much involved with the National Guard Armory that's right there beside of you too. Oh yeah, we feed them, uh, uh, you know, probably every other month when they're not on deployment or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, we we uh, feed them, uh, you know, Lunch. Lunch. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. The um, the the National Guard Armory there. You, you how, about how many? What is that? Is that's not the one three three? Which one? What's that unit number? Do you know uh, right yeah, offhand? Off I don't know offhand either. Yeah. The um, the the Purple Heart guys. We were in here the other day, and we were talking about how a lot of these young guys need to become members things like the VFW oh, yeah. and stuff like that so they can at least get out and they can have some another veteran that they can sit down and talk with and I, I've noticed a couple of times that I've been out to the VFW here lately that you've have got a few of the younger guys that are starting to come out there now and yeah and and, and it gives them a time to talk to somebody yeah. and stuff no, so. no matter when you served or where you served uh, uh, you know we all have something in common mm -hmm. and and you go out there and it's, it's like Visiting family. You know? That's right. That's really right. nice. Yeah, that's good. Um, well, that's going to do it pretty much for today's show. Do you got anything else that you'd like to put out, Jack? Or well, yeah, uh, they're, they're uh, going to have uh, some more, you know, honor flights. Oh yes, yes, yes. World War II veterans. Right. And what he's talking about is, is that if for those of you that don't know, they have an honor flight that goes to Washington D.C. Mm -hmm. They fly out of Myrtle Beach. Middle and Columbia. And Columbia. They're both two different times. I think one's coming up here real soon. I yeah, think Myrtle Beach. Myrtle yeah. Beach is real soon. And the one in Columbia is like August or something, isn't yeah. it? I think so. But I have applications for it. I think Jack's got yeah, applications I mean. for it at the VFW. So if you know of a World War II veteran 
that would like to take the honor flight to Washington, D.C. to see the walls and the different monuments in D.C., um, just have them contact any of us. The other thing is, is that when they do that, if, if, they're, if they're in a wheelchair or anything like that, they do have assistance for them mm -hmm. at the airport on both ends. So for it, they will have someone to help them. So if they need help, they'll be, have them there. Yeah, and then next next week or so, I'm going to be going around to the various nursing homes and, okay. and seeing uh, if any veterans there are interested in, yeah. in uh, taking part in that. That's very good. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Um, well, that's it for today's show. And I, once again, I'd like to thank Francis Marin and thank Jack for coming out here with us. And um, let's try to get some of this information out to the veterans in the area.